it's an early start. We're gonna do some more um, photo location than is shown today. Um, rather than, you know, I think it was the last time we did Connemara. Um, I'm up in Donegal for a few days and I just wanted to show some of my favorite locations that I go to, to shoot whenever um, I get the chance. Uh, I'm in Greencastle at the moment and we're gonna head out to the first location right now. And uh, maybe we'll fire the drone up as well. Um, I had the drone up at one of the locations last night already, so I'm already ahead of the game, um, but we'll still stop there. Anyway, let's crack on with today's video. Location number one of four that I have on this coast, east coast tour of Inishon. So you look out to the east and you've got Shrove and you've got the, the hills in Northern Ireland. You can see right across to Benome Beach from here. To the northwest-ish you've got some like amazing uh, cliff front fronts that you can do with like little beaches that nobody can get down to unless you're going by boat. So they're always empty and just looks cool, makes it easier for a shot. Yeah, sunset's unreal at this spot, by the way. Um, but yeah, this is the first location. I love coming shooting here on days that I have the time to. Um, it's This is all within like 10, 15 minutes of my parents' house, so it's easy to get here. And it's just places that I, I've consistently shot over the last last few years. Again, coming back to that thing, shooting, shooting the same locations in different lighting conditions, you know, can make for completely different pictures. Next location, um, I would probably class it as more of an early morning or late evening location because if you come here at any other time of the day like I have today, usually a lot better in um, winter because the trees in that you can, they're more branchy and you can see through them and they, they don't tend to block up the beach as much. Astrophotography, couldn't remember from in there. Um, you can come down here, it's really sheltered, although saying that there is a lot of uh, light pollution from the north. and. As good as Inishon is and as rural as it is, it, Derry does pretty much tinge the sky orange like in any sort of long exposure, even up at Malin Head, it gets into it. Um, so, you know, it's not a, an amazing area, but like you can you can get good shots here. I've, I've, I've gotten some that I've been happy with, but like I've never really adventured into it beyond a little, a little look into it. Always in got to do number three on my list of places on the east coast of Inishow. Um, and number three is my home village beach or my local beach, the beach where I learned to swim and did all that sort of stuff. It's Kulaf Beach or Kulaf Bay, I would actually say more accurately, because that whole area uh, right from Cannon Spray to the village is just chock full of like awesome photo locations as well as just being a really nice serene place to be. Right out onto the bay you can see right across to the mountains and, and or the hills of Glengad uh, and as well as that you can if you're lucky on a day you'll get dolphins 
um, they can make appearances never when I've been there unfortunately second thing like I, I like about there is the river that leads up into the village is a nice calm place in it and the tides come way in and way out and they can create different scenarios to shoot it there's an abandoned boat or a sunken boat that's just kind of sitting in the middle of the river um, got the drone out there luckily for the first time it's the first time I've been able to get anything close to it because I don't have any tele lenses that would be suitable for it So, it's later in the day, um, I went home for a bit, take a little bit of a break and chill out. Um, but we're on to the last place that's easily accessible and is great for photographs because you've got so much scenery here that you can see. We're at Five Finger Strand, it's called, well, we're at a peak that looks over Five Finger Strand so you can drive right up here, park up, you can see right the way into Carndonna, uh, right the way out to uh, Ballyliffin and then out to the Oris Hills on the far side as well and even as far as Fanad Lighthouse at a push I think on a clear day. Today you can actually, well since the haze cleared up earlier you can actually see right the way out here. Um, I have tons of shots from this location because see on stormy days I love coming up here because you, you can see the swells coming in right the way across the shore and yeah the like tonight now it's actually sunset it's gonna light up so it's perfect. So I'll probably do the other side of Inishon in the coming weeks, but um, and then Malin Head in itself can have its own thing. Yeah, again, if you enjoyed it, comment and like on the videos, that lets other people know that it's a decent video. Subscribe so that I know I'm doing the right thing, so that I know my stuff is getting better. Um, you can check out all my stuff on Instagram and uh, my website down below, it's at Owen Bell or owenbell.com for the website. And yeah, thanks very much for watching and it, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this and got some just a taste of what um north donegal has to offer always in bloom for